This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. You are looking at an application over here which is a simple image classifier using the pre-trained mobile net v2 model in PyTorch. This Gradio application was developed using GPT-4. Basically, I asked GPT-4 to write code for a Google Collab notebook to create this application. So let us look into how I asked GPT-4 to do this, uh, to write this code. Okay. I also had faced a issue in this code and I asked again GPT-4 for help with the issue and it solved the issue for me. So let us uh, look into the GPT-4, you know, how I uh, uh, wrote this code or how I created this code using GPT-4. Okay. So here I have selected model as GPT-4 in chat GPT plus and I asked this uh, query act as a Python programmer, write a Python code for a Google Collab notebook for performing image classification using PyTorch and mobile net model. Okay. So it gave a response saying that in this Google Collab notebook, we will perform image classification using PyTorch library and a pre-trained mobile net V2 model. First, you need to install the necessary libraries in your Google environment and it gives this code pip install torch torch vision. Then the code for importing the required libraries and loading the pre-trained mobile net v2 model. Okay, this is the code. Then a function to pre-process the input image before feeding it to the model. Okay, because every uh, model expects the input image to be in a certain format. Okay, so this is the pre-processing function. Okay. Then a function to predict the class of the input image. Okay. To predict the class, you need a method to also convert the class index into a human read, uh, readable label. So it pulls out the labels from a particular GitHub um, file and then, you know, it uh, converts it into a human readable label. Okay. Then let's use these functions to classify an image. Okay. So whereby you have an image URL and you are passing that image URL to the predict function and you are getting the class label. Okay, you get the class index and you are passing it over here. So I copied this exact code and it said that, okay, you change this, your image URL here. Okay, so what I did was I copied that entire code over here into this notebook. Okay, where I said pip install torch torch vision, then importing the libraries, okay, and, pre and loading this, uh, you know, mobile net v2 model, pre-trained mobile net v2 model. Okay, so that is happening. And then I copied the preprocess image function, right? Then I copy the predict class function, right? And the get class label function. I've just copied the code from there, okay? And I have copied the uh, code for your predict. I'm, uh, and instead of it said, right, you replace your image. So I have replaced this image over here. Uh, let's look at that image quickly. Okay. Let's look at that image. So this is an image of a fox. Okay. So when I run this code, it predicts the class as red fox. Okay. So it worked perfectly till here. Right. And I was surprised that the code worked here without any issues. Okay. Then I said, let's modify this. Modify this code such that we can have a Gradio page where we can accept an image as an input and predict the class. Okay. Then uh, GPT-4 said that to create a Gradio page for image classification, first you need to install the Gradio library. So basically this is the code for that. Import the Gradio uh, library. Basically this is the code for that. Okay. And then you have to modify the predict class function such that instead of an URL, it accepts an input image. So that is a change over here. Okay. And here you do the uh, pre-process all the other things. Okay. And then what it does over here is that it creates a Gradio interface for the image classifier that is done over here. And it says instead of this example, instead of your uh, uh, this URL, your, uh, your example, your proper image URL has to be put over here. Okay. And with this code, you can uh, launch the Gradio interface. So I copied this code as such. Okay. And then I try to run it. Okay. So when I try to run this code, uh, I got some error over here with respect to this particular uh, link not working. Okay. But
but i got an another error for that error i had to actually change the code to debug is equal to true to see what is the error and uh, you know share is equal to true over here i did this change because i wanted a public url okay so once i did uh, i ran this code there was this error so what was the error i got this error saying that you know uh, unexpected type class numpy dra in predict class method so there was an issue with the predict class method over here so i copied that issue over here and i gave it to chat gpt4 okay as an input it gave an output saying that apologies for the confusion it seems that gradios image input component returns a numpy array whereas the pre process function expects a pill image so it was able to understand this error and it made a change to this particular predict class method okay where it said okay from pill import image image is equal to image dot from array input image so this was the code change which was done in the predict class method so i copied this code again okay i made a change to the predict class method over here right by adding these two lines basically and i ran it again and this time the application ran fine without any issues and this particular i could even launch this application right which is what you are seeing over here so i could develop uh, basically i could easily develop this notebook okay the complete code for that i could also debug the notebook over here right to solve any kind of issues right with the code and it's working perfectly for example let's try out another image over here okay let's try out this image and say submit it says a sports car okay so uh, yeah this application is working fine without any issues right so it was able to get these class labels from this particular uh, url properly right so i'm kind of mind boggled with this kind of you know uh, code generation from gpt4 okay this makes life a lot easier for developers you can also debug code and it is able to actually pinpoint the error and solve it for you right so this these are the classes of images or the labels of images for mobile net v2 okay so initially when this code was uh, i suspected that whether this could be some hallucinated uh, you know label url but it kind of pulled out the url this could be because this code is already kind of present in their training data we never know okay but still uh, you know um, this kind of code generation is actually amazing so what i will do is that i'll share this notebook you can also try this notebook okay um uh, so i hope you find this video useful on how you can uh, write code using uh, gpt4 how you can debug code using gpt4 if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video